How you doing guys? Welcome back to the K&R Equipment Channel. Right here we have our XH14. This has the Briggs engine in it and this is one of our uh, Pro Series. This is the top of the line model out of the 14 Series. Keep in mind the 14 Series machines, they're all gas. They're all going to dig approximately the same hole. Some features that you're going to notice on this one, and we went over this in other videos so we're not going to go over a lot here. We're going to mainly do some digging and moving stuff around. Um, you've got the three-way valve, you've got the cylinder on top on this model, so that's a cool feature. I really don't care, they work either way for me. Some guys like this, it's not that big of a deal. Um, moving on back, you got the modernized control console, which we've went over that on our YH series and our RH-3 models. That's going to be pretty common. You've got the armrest, the headrest, the seat that's adjustable front and back, and then ergonomically. Um, some other things are the easy access tailgate on it. And again, we go over this in other uh, videos, so let's cut straight to the chase and uh, we'll get straight to work and see how she digs. All right, so she fires right up. And by the way, this particular machine, it's our only one, it comes with an actual USA Parker pump. Personally, I'm not a big fan of Parker. Our uh, pumps do a pretty good job. I can hear a little bit of a whine on Parker pumps personally, but they're a very proven brand and they're well known here in the USA and used on a lot of name brand equipment. So we're just gonna give it a little throttle now obviously you can bump this thing up right here. That's full throttle. Our machines aren't really loud like everybody else's. But we're gonna bring her on down and we're gonna start off about right here. All right. Make our first cut here, which is always the hardest, just breaking the dry ass ground. Having roots buried everywhere doesn't help since we're out here in a forest around trees. But she does it just fine. A lot of buried trash out here from 50 years ago. Hit a little rock right there. We're moving right along. Some little rocks in the soil right there. There's another one right there on top.
we'll move back just a little bit, make just a few more cuts, and then we'll move on. Some rocks right here that we're trying to dig through. Looks like actually that was a root. And guys, a lot of guys, um, they talk about the uh, smaller machines having the sticks right here. I'm not lean forward operating these. A lot of guys are like, oh, I don't want to have to lean forward. Well, really you're not. All you got to do, you have, all of our machines have adjustable seats. So if you're not as tall as me, you can always scoot it forward just like so. And they're right here. It's not that big of a deal. All right, let's go over here and see if it'll pick up this, uh, it's a pretty good sized log. You know the deal. If we can't pick it up, we can always drag it. I think we'll be able to pick it up though. This is a fresh one that uh, fell over in a storm the other day, just last week. We went ahead and lopped the top off of it and uh, put it over here. Probably about 25 foot long. A little much for this machine, but we'll be able to move it a little ways. The only problem is we got trees over there in the way, as you can see, then we got trees over here. So we'll kind of uh, manipulate it over a little bit. I'm gonna put it down. I'm going to get over here a little bit further down and reset. That's one way of dragging it right there, just turn it sideways. About to run over my camera guy. Go back up. Just like that, it's out of the way, we're good to go. If you guys are curious, this right here is a John Deere 331G. This is about a 12,000 pound machine. One of our uh, contractors have this out here. I also own one and uh, that's a pretty heavy machine and it'll move some stuff for sure. Problem is they're about $90,000. So not everybody wants to spend that much. Moving on here. So there you have it guys. This is the XH14 Pro Series. This is a 2200 pound machine. Just like all of our 2200 pound machines, we have the upgraded counterweight on there. You gotta have that. The knockoff garbage out there that they sell, the AG or whatever they wanna call it, the Agatra or the FF, uh, they have new names every day. It's not gonna have a counterweight like that. It's not gonna have a counterweight like our RH14G, our RH143, our YH or any of those. Um, it's something we do here exclusively. We've got that upgraded valve body. So you got nice smooth controls. You guys saw that I wasn't shaking around and everything. 
It's a pretty smooth ride for a lightweight machine. Don't get me wrong, a machine like this, it's gonna move around, it's gonna move you. It only weighs 2,200 pounds, but as you saw, it dug, dug the hole just fine, picked up the uh, pretty good sized tree here just fine. Let me uh, come over here and just kind of get you a little bit more perspective of how big the tree is. I'd say that's probably, uh, probably about 12 inches at the base as you go down gets down to about eight inches and then ultimately down to about six where it's cut off at so guys where you need to be is microtraco.com that's the knr equipment website um, check out our other videos on youtube by clicking on the um, channel emblem or just click on our channel in general we have a ton of videos going over all the different equipment we sell remember this is one of our smaller machines we have all the way up to a 12,000 pound machine and larger so uh, that's all. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.